Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Among the Innocent, a stricken tale by uh, Zero Degrees Games. Uh, so, I picked this game up while I was at Rage. Um, I paid for a physical copy and I had to actually find a CD, CD writer to, or a DVD um, reader to get this thing installed. Because <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a really long time since I bought a game on DVD. Um, but the, the green light's out, so if you like the game, go vote for it on green light. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, South African game, so I thought, you know what, I'll try it. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's like a weird uh, mystery, um, like maybe a little bit creepy puzzle kind of game. I don't know. Let, let's play it. Let's see what how far we get. Uh, let's see what we can get out of it. And I mean, that's all it's really about, right? Is what experience can we get out of the game? Okay. Among the Innocent, The Stricken Tale, Chapter 1. I can click. The autumn night oh, it is to calm me. and crisp in the town of Williamsburg, when suddenly its stillness is interrupted by a distant shouting match. Oh no. Peter York and Stephanie Jacobs are arguing again. No. God damn it, just tell me what's on your mind, Peter pleads with his girlfriend. Her response It's not that simple, Pete. Just listen, please. We have important things to talk about, but you need to calm down first. I can't, he cries. Fine, Steph fumes. She admits defeat once more. Pete's stoicism, an unmovable force when he gets like this. No. Fine. Pete storms out of the house, slamming the door behind him. He needs to cool off. He's trembling. Where's the love, guys? Steph. Alone and furious with no, Pete Steph. for another of his childish outbursts, has a lot to think about. Pete jumps on his motorcycle and tears off into the night. No, Pete. Go back. Some Stay your sorry, passes. Pete. Pete cruises along the roads of this quiet part of the world. I bet you he gets the lost. The country air soothes his nerves. What his anxiety begins on, to Pete. simmer to a cool hum now that the confrontation with Steph has slid to the back of his mind. Backed by the calmness washing over him, Pete is filled with a sudden sense of adventure. He turns up a dusty mountain road. The road winds up into the rocky surrounds its breadth growing narrow as the looming mountains reach taller. Without warning, the ground begins to tremble. Rocks above dislodge from their ancient positions, cascading down and around Pete. He loses control, his bike wobbling like a drunk. It spins out from under him and he is flung to the ground. Oh, for fuck's sakes, Pete. Pete awakens, slowly, groggily. The rocks have fallen in behind him, Together with the high canyon walls, they block his return. His bike lies there, a twisted, useless wreck. Oh fuck, how far away from home is he? Ahead is an open farm gate, and the road continues across a bridge. If he can find a telephone or help, his knee protests as he lurches onwards. He heads off, through the gate, across the bridge. A log cabin is up ahead. There are no lights on, and the area bears a grave stillness. Pete approaches the cabin and knocks on the front door. No answer. He knocks again, more forcefully. Still no response. He creeps open the door. The inside is dark and musty. His footprints leave impressions in the dust as he walks inside. Hello? Anyone? Pete? is alone. Oh no. His damaged knee gives in to its injuries and Pete collapses to the floor. His energy is sapped and he needs to rest. A dilapidated couch in the room looks like a luxury compared to sleeping outside, so he decides to lie down, just for a while. Oh, and three days pass. Pete has fallen into a coma. Oh, cool. How to play. Crouch, jump, run, inventory, examine, interact. Okay, I think we got it. I imagine we're Pete now. Pete the idiot. We got into a fight. Crashed his motorbike. Hey, that actually looks pretty good. I saw a little bit of this at Rage, but I tried to avoid as much as possible to avoid the spoilers. Um, okay. And also, that intro is fucking good. The, the voice acting is actually pretty, uh, a lot better than what I thought it would be. 
Uh, it's a lot better than I could do, that's for fucking sure. <laughs> oh no, I didn't read it. it. It went, oh my leg, and I thought I'd have time to click as I wanted. Apparently the game waits for no man. Can I just go to sleep again? No. I doubt you could take another ounce of weight before collapsing altogether. What if, what about if I jump? Well, I can jump, so my knee can't be that bad. Wait, am I literally trying to pick up the couch? I don't think that's a good idea, Pete. Fireplace, so fireplace is cold. Okay. So what can we do? What can we do? Uh, what's in the bucket? Kindling. Oh, shit. We actually got the kindling. Wait, did we just, like, immediately dump the kindling into the fireplace? That's fine, too, I guess. What about this cushion? Cushion! Fuck. Okay, so the game actually has physics and everything. That's pretty cool. Uh, I was trying to pick you up, Cushion. Let's put you back. Let's neaten up this couch. My mom would be so proud. I hope you're watching, Mom. Scatter cushions. The things I don't own anymore. Or don't care about. Oh, fuck. Come on, scatter cushion. Please. Please. This is the most important part of the game. The puzzle must be completed. The puzzle of couch. Fuck. Off, scatter cushion. Okay, you know what? You're just going to... There we go. There we go. Oh, yes. There's another cushion over here. Oh, guys, we've done it. We've put together the couch. Achievement unlocked. We should get an achievement for that, really. Couch. You know what? That's fucking good enough. Um, so there's kindling over there. Uh, can we get, like, firewood out? Okay, so we can't go outside. Oh, fuck. It's, like, using gas lamps. And there is gas. Wait, how did, how did we light that? Okay, we have a lighter. This is your inventory? Cool. I know how inventories work. What about this door over here? Okay, it's locked. There's nothing we can do about that. Is there anything, like, hidden in the flower pots? No. Okay, there's a room over here. Let's see if we can go in there. Oh, wait. Let's fiddle with the kitchen stuff first. Here we go. Kitchen stuff. For a second there, I thought I saw something, but it's just my imagination. My imagination is running wild. No, draw, come back. Okay, so I can't take anything out of the drawer. Can I take anything out of the cupboards? Cupboards, please. I can't take the kettle out. I can't... Okay, so there's a kettle over here. I can't use that. There's a stove. Can we... Oh, shit, guys. All the gas is working in this house. We can fucking turn... What happens if we just turn on everything? Here we go. It's achievement time, guys. Turn on everything that runs on gas. We're gonna run this house out of gas. What about this book? Yummy food for the whole family. I'm pretty sure that didn't sell well, guys. You can't make book titles like that. They're not gonna sell well. Firewood. Oh shit, we got firewood. Okay, so we can see firewood in our inventory. That's good to know. I can't move the dishes around. That's unfortunate. I want to fuck around with some dishes. We got this large pot. Oh, you know what? Large pot. I'm sure we can find things to put in you just now. There may be some... Well, fuck. I don't think there's going to be anything we want to put in this house. In that fucking pot to eat. What is this book? Beautiful gardens in the South African countryside. Okay. Spice up your life with jalapenos. Jalapenos. Okay, this door we can open. We can't do anything with the broom. Uh, is there anything behind the door? No. Oh, yes. Guys, the door doesn't have a full... Or it, it, you, you don't have to wait for full animations. Can we fuck with this somehow? Nope. Okay, never mind. There's another lamp. Guys, we're going to turn on all the fucking lamps. Wait, here's a note. There's a list. Dad's to-do list. Chop firewood. Fix the washing line. Uh, more petrol for the generator. Petrol is, um, uh, fuel, gas, uh, liquid petroleum, <laughs> for anybody who doesn't use that terminology. Uh, replace the valves on the gas tank. Oh, shit, maybe I shouldn't be turning all the fucking gas on. Uh, help Charlie with treehouse. Well, I don't think any of these things are going to happen. Oh, we got notes. Okay. Uh, Williamsburg General. Outpatient prescription. Peter York. Okay, so this is a prescription for us. Uh, Benzonax? Hmm. Nax. The only things I know that end with Nax are either sleeping pills or antidepressants. And my propane. My propane sounds like a painkiller. So he's taking sleeping pills and painkillers or antidepressants and painkillers? That's not good. That's not good, guys. Oh, it's a key. Oh, it's a key. 
Uh, shelves. Okay, we know we can't do anything with shelves. We can't do anything with the sacks. We're going to leave all the lamps on. Because fuck it. I don't know why we are locked in this house. Like, I feel like that's a very bad thing. Can I like, is that like a button or something? No. But I can't get the door open. Is there something like in front of the door? Can we like see some? Wait, there's like fucking logs and shit. Oh shit, you know what? Look at this fucking log. You can like sort of see it over there. Maybe it's fallen in front of the door. That's not fucking good. Can we open this door now? Oh shit, we can. Oh, we can. Can I pick up the lock? Um, how about nope? Nope, 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 nope. Let's not go down there yet. I imagine we have to go down. Oh, wait, wait, we got wood. Oh, yeah. We're gonna burn down this whole house. We're gonna burn it all fucking down. Is there any more gas? I don't see any more gas stuff, but we have a fire now. That's nice. That's nice. I don't know why we needed a fire, but we've got one. Here's a fucking log. Um, broken logs and pot. Okay. The log looked like it fell through the roof. But I don't see a fucking tree, so I don't know where it fell from. Or maybe the whole tree fell. Who knows? We've got another door over here. Damn, it's locked. Okay, so we can't open that door. Never mind. Oh, another lamp. We didn't miss a lamp over on the staircase, did we? No. Okay, good, 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 good. The radio. Radio doesn't work. Drawers. Oh, wait, there's a note. Ugh. Give me the note. Uh, Crayshaw Medical. Wait, is that the same medical place that we went to? No, we went to Williamsburg General. So how far away from home are we? Uh, Mr. Rogers, following a discussion for, of your son Charlie, it's my belief that the boy is in need of help. Uh, the likes of which I cannot provide. I recommend that you bring him to my good friend and associate, Dr. Henry Barnswell, a doctor who specializes in the matter of the brain. I strongly urge you to help the boy and indeed your whole family. Please do not hesitate to contact my rooms should you have any f need further. Okay. So, the kid has uh, some kind of uh, maybe social disorder or mental disorder or depression or something. I don't know. I don't know why a general physician, which I'm assuming that doctor is, uh, is trying to get him to a specialist. Uh, or maybe it could, like, oh wait, batteries. Isn't that... I think the radio needs batteries. Uh, let's, let, let's analyze this note a little bit more. Good friend uh, in matters of the brain. So it could be... I mean, it could just be something like... Literally, like, physically wrong with his brain. It doesn't have to be... I don't know. I, I, the, we need more information. We need more information. And this drawer is not going to give it to us. Drawer. How, there's a bathtub outside. Guys, it looks really fucking pretty outside. Can I go outside? That'd be great. Um, damn it. There's a painting. Painting. Uh, a charming painting of a windmill. Okay. I'm no art thief. Dude, this house is like dilapidated. I'm pretty sure at this point you wouldn't be considered a thief. You'd be considered like a salvager. But anyway, that's none of my business. Let's go. Uh, we have the power to walk over plants. Let's go walk through the fucking spider webs. Please tell me they break as you walk through them. Oh, they don't. No. Okay, well, we found more lamps. Oh, fuck me. This is the last place I want to be. I don't want to be in the... Oh, my God. There's a blood stain on the floor. Um. What the fuck? Uh, that, like, that sends shivers up my spine, for real. I was just like, what the fuck is going on? My character saw the blood stain and then freaked out, and then freaked me out. Because I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a dead body. Oh, shit. A dead body in a dress. So, some lady died. Okay, inspect. The skeletal remains of what appears to be a woman, so I was at least correct there. It looks like there's something in her hand. Uh, okay. Uh, the bag is filled with assorted marbles. Oh, we don't want that one. We want this one. Okay, so we got marbles. We got batteries. Oh, shit. We didn't... Um, you know what? I'm going to walk around your corpse. I'm going to try nicely. Wait, is that a bucket of shit? You know what? 
I'm not going to ask questions. We're going to go back upstairs quickly. We can run. I'm going to turn on the radio. Radio, you're less creepy than the basement. I'm coming back to you. Oh, fuck. Maybe the radio isn't less creepy than the basement. New batteries in the radio. Can't seem to find a signal. Maybe there's some interference. Can I not fiddle with it directly like I fiddled with the stove? Oh, fuck. That reminds me. The stove is still on. Oh, my God. I wonder if we can run out of gas. Maybe we can run the house out of gas. That'd be interesting. Who knows? Okay. So we found the dead lady with the poop bucket. Uh, we found the creepy music. Uh, we potentially found a way to get out of the house. Repair guide. Um, okay. I gotcha. Ham radio. Uh, I need to hook up a power source. Okay. So I need to fiddle with the fucking ham radio. We need a power source, guys. We need a power source. Do you see anything that looks like a power source? We're probably gonna have to go outside for that stuff. There is a maze. Um, how does the maze work? Where am I trying to get the ball? Am I trying to get the ball out? Wait, did I just win? Give me the ball. Um, maybe I'm trying to get the ball on the other side? What happens if the ball goes down this side? I'm not sure. Aha! You take the coin. The hidden compartment's already open. Guys, this maze was too easy. It was too easy. Like, I just flicked this one thing. You already solved this puzzle. Ah! Okay. That's the easiest puzzle. Puzzle numero uno. So we can't expect too much. We have to fix the ham radio. Um, let's see if we can go outside yet. Um, maybe? It's locked. What did I pick up? I picked up a coin. How is a coin going to help us? How is a coin going to help us? I'm so confused. Okay. Coin, how are you going to help us? There's this lady with the marbles, which I think we needed for that thing over there. Um, which got us a coin. I'm so confused. But we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. Coin, I believe in you. Maybe the coin can help us open the door. Coin, please. <laughs> no. The coin cannot help us open the door. Fuck. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to try and figure out how to get out of this house until uh, for next time. I am going to figure out what we need to do with the stupid key. I don't know. I don't know what we have to do with the key. I'm kind of confused. Maybe we can open that door with a key. I mean, with a... Not a key. A coin. God damn it. It's a coin. <laughs> anyway, if you like the game, check it out on Steam. Uh, maybe give it a vote on the Steam Greenlight. That'd be cool. Uh, support uh, local South African games. And uh, if you like my videos, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and until next time, cheers guys.